really? Yes. Oh, I thought you were in a hotel. <laughs> okay. How are you? I feel very well today. You feel very well today. May I know why? Um, because uh, I uh, I have a long weekend. Uh, I have a long weekend, and mm -hmm. um, I went to piano academy today. Mm, you went to piano academy today. Yes. Oh. Okay. What did you do there? I I played piano and I I will I will have a lesson uh, I will have a violin lesson on Wednesday. Mm. Okay. Wow, you will have violin lesson on Wednesday. Yes. Okay. That's good. So, what did you do last weekend? I I went camp. I went camping, and oh, yes. I also uh, watched movie a lot. Oh. At the campsite? Uh no. I'm oh. I'm not uh take my notebook at that on uh, campsite. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. You didn't uh, bring. Yes. Okay. All right. So, what movies did you watch? I watched an um the comic zombie movie, and uh, I also watched an uh I watched an Boss Baby. Oh, Boss Baby, wow. Okay. So, do you like watching Boss Baby? Yes. Mm, why do you like it? Because he is cute and ah. um, also he is very known about work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. What did you do today? I went I just went to piano academy and I can uh I will uh I will go Daiso tonight. Oh Daiso. Yes, because I will decorate uh, I will decorating my room um like Halloween. Ah. I see. Okay, so you're going to have a Halloween uh, theme in your house. Yes. Mm hmm Okay. And what kind of decoration are you thinking? I thinking an uh the horror uh not horror and I will give Candice my par of uh, to my parents. You will give Candice to your parents. Yes. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, how about uh, giving candies to other kids? Oh, we can, uh, I, um, we don't have that event on our country. And, um, when, it, here is not, um, the city. So mm -hmm. when we go Seoul, um, but not now, um, we go Seoul, then, um, when this um these days the people um people um going around like a horror but we can't now um because of corona mm. I see so you can't give candies to other kids. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, well that's just that. Okay. So what time will you go to Daiso? I don't know. I will go to um uh, maybe I will go to Daiso after this class when uh after the uh after eating dinner. After eating dinner. Yes. I see. Okay. After eating dinner. Well, that's good. So what will you be having for dinner? I will eat pork belly. 
pork belly, some gypsum. Yes. Wow, that's nice. Okay, so you will eat pork belly. Who will cook pork belly? Uh, my dad will cook pork belly tonight. Oh, I see. Okay. All right, so let's go then to your lesson. Hold on, please. So we are now on step five. Oh, yeah, chapter one, lesson three. Land boundaries, is it? Uh, chapter four, I'm so sorry. Trade routes, trade routes. Okay, read it please. A trade route is a set path regularly used, uh, used for trading goods, goods that used to be an available only in certain parts of the world become a, uh, became available to other places because of these routes mm -hmm. through routes people gained a sex of uh, access to goods from other places without having to travel a great distance these routes can be traveled by land, water, or air. Mm -hmm. Some examples of tra trade routes that people used are the are the silk road, silk road, uh, the spice route, and the uh, Mediterranean trade route. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Silk Road Silk Road's starting point was the city of Axian, uh, Axian, China, along the. As China along the Great Wall and passed through mountains, going to every um, effigy, um, Asian and to the east to the eastern Mediterranean region. This mm -hmm. was where cargo was put on ships and sailed to Mediterranean. Support. Uh, cargos, cargos are goods, materials, and medis are mar marchi a uh, merchandise carried merchandise merchandise carried on board an air aircraft, ship, train, or truck. Silk from China was traded on this route in exchange exchange for Europe's wool, silver, and gold. Aside from goods, knowledge about technology, religion, and art were also exchanged between the two um, civilizations. This trade route played uh, a very important part in their cultural exchange. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the spice route, shipment of pa uh, pepper, cloves, um, Cinnamon and a nutmeg came uh, came from countries like Indonesia, China, and Japan. Shipment refers to large amount of goods sent together to a place. 
many European European nations wanted spices, so the the Asian countries traded with them using ships. The spice routes encouraged、uh, encouraged、um, explorations of new places. Improvement in the speed of ships and boats, and relationships between Eastern and Western、uh, civilizations. Railroads were also used among parts of these routes later on. Okay. Wait a minute. The the Mediterranean trade route involved trade and culture exchange using using the Mediterranean、uh, Mediterranean Sea among civ-、uh, civilizations in Western Asia, North Africa, and Southern Europe. Some examples of traded goods included. Animal skins,、um, exotic animals, precious metal metals, spices and spices and culture art. Trading, e- trading is an important part of culture exchange among different places. Many historical historical trade routes. Have brought civil civilizations together in the past that resulted in the in the advancement of many things, including transportation and technology. Okay, very good job. So, why were trade routes important for many civilizations of the past? Because um, because they trade a lot, and um, they have to. They must have the trade routes.、Mm-hmm. Okay. And why do you think were the hardships that people faced when they were trading with many different nations? Um, they don't have vehicle and the Silk Road, so they are very hard to trade. Mhm. Okay. And what else? And then, um, they. Um, they can't. They can't trade. Um, trade, bit uh, trade for a vehicle, and they, uh, they don't have Silk Road, so they can't. Um, they can't trade to the Silk Road. Mhm. Okay. Plus, there is no communication like today. We used to have phones, so we can contact、uh, the one who is going to trade. But for them, in the past, they don't have any way of communicating. When will the people who would want to trade will arrive? Right? Yes. Okay. Number three. What do you think the effects would be if Trade routes were never established.、Um, then we can't more comfort comfortable and hard to trade, and、um, we can't. Uh, we can't trade 
Mm, we can trade for the vehicle. Okay. Okay, so let's go to vocabulary check number one. Fill in the blanks with the correct words. Choose your answers from the box. Number one, a large amount of goods sent to a place is called a... Is called a shipment. Shipment, okay. And the number two, blank are goods materials and merchandise carried on board an aircraft ship train or truck it is an uh, uh it is a cargo 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 mm, okay number three a blank is a set pass regularly used for training goods it is um it is trade route trade route okay trade routes brought many blank together it uh trade routes brought many civilization together okay When a quiz, complete the crossword below. So number one, it refers to the trade route that started in China and ended in the Eastern Mediterranean region. It is trade route. Trade route. Okay. And then, oh, trade uh, route, are you sure? No. It is um, civilizations. Civilization. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. Can you please write it if it's civilization? Oh, uh, number one. Oh, oh, but. This one, this one. It refers oh. to the trade route that started in China and ended in the Eastern Mediterranean region. Oh. Yeah. I think it's not civilization. Oh. Um. It is a silk road. Silk road? It refers to the trade route that started in China and ended in the East Mediterranean region. Yes, I think. Yeah. All right. S I L K S R O. Hmm. Silk Road, yeah. Number two. It's also down. It was a route where nutmeg, pepper cloves, and cinnamon were treated. It is spice route spice route can you write it a number two
Mm-hmm. Silk route. Okay. A spice route. Mm. Number three. It was the most common form of transportation used to a uh, used on the trade routes. It is the ship. Ship. Mm-hmm. Number three is ship. Can you write it? Ships. Ships. S H I P S. Yeah, ships. Okay. And lastly, number four, it refers to the trade route between Western Asia, North Africa, and South Europe. Um, Mediterranean. Mediterranean. Mm. Me Oh. Oh, uh huh. Oh, yeah. Good. Okay, well done. Oh. Okay, so what do you think are the factors that leads to be the success of a trade route? Um... I think the trade, uh, the Silk Road is success to a uh, success of a trade route, and there, mm -hmm. um, and we need a vehicle too. We need a vehicle too. Yes. yes. Oh, that's right. And of course. Okay, we need vehicle. Uh, what else? We need goods to trade. Yeah, and we need um, uh, contacts or people. Yeah, uh, we need a people or person that we know that will notify the people around the area that we will be open for trade or yes. trading. Yes, okay. So, very good. Yeah, now, this will be our lesson for tonight. So, I will see you again on Wednesday, okay? Okay. All right. So, please check your feedback because I sent you a homework and submit it again to Teacher Mallory, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Dorothy. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.